in this one, I'm going to take you around the fish room because I have literally just got back from my holidays. I've just had a week away. And while I've had that week away, my friend has only been twice to check on the tanks and he's only fed them once. I've been home now an hour, so I have checked all around the tanks. And there is a couple of issues. But what we'll do is we'll just walk around. Luckily, there's no deaths. So there's no deaths at all. There's no the fish are fine, but there's a couple of issues with it, with what I've done. But what I'll do is I'll quickly walk you through everything just to give you a quick look and show you what those issues are. So let's get into it. So this is one of the issues, and it's this tank here. So I don't know if the video will pick it up, but the algae in here is terrible. I mean, look around the side here. Look at the state of it. The algae is really bad. So what I've done is I have got one of these LED lights. So... Let me just show you this. And it's one of these with a timer. And if you can see, that says eight hours. I had it in my head that this was a six hours. So I give my tanks, well, the planter tank, six hours a day. So I put it on that timer, which basically means that every day, the time you pressed it, it will come on and it will go off after eight hours. The difference that two hours a day has made is absolutely unbelievable. Look at the heater at the back. Honestly, it's absolutely full of algae, but... I mean, can you see it there on the side? Look, I mean, you can see that hoplo going past it. Everything is full of it. So luckily, all the fish are fine, and that's one issue. So let's get in the fish room and look at another issue. So like I said, my friend has been, and he's only been twice because usually my stepson looks after it for me, but he came with us. So obviously, you weren't able to do that this time. But so he's only been twice and it was just passing visits just to make sure that everything was okay. But the other issue is this tank because I've done exactly the same thing. But this one is probably worse. Look at the state of that algae in this tank. This is the planter tank. Look at that. Look at all this on the glass. Look at that sponge. Fish are fine, which is the main thing. I can do a water change and remove most of this algae cut the light down and, and obviously hopefully try and get the balance back. But then my pissed out are absolutely stunning, aren't they? Look at that female. She is beautiful. There's that sessi flora and you'll know it's that obviously my Ludwigi is not in there because it melted. Honestly, it just melted away. But another learning curve with plants. But that tank's an absolute mess, isn't it? Actually, I want to show you this. I don't think I've showed you any of these yet. Do you remember when I did a video on my pair of marbled angels that did spawn? Well, these are the young, and they've grown absolutely brilliant. I mean, look at those there. I have only got eight, so obviously it's back to back to the drawing board, but we've got eight. We're growing eight on, and they've grown really well. Those scissors, if anyone's noticed, they're in there because I did put a big piece of courgette in before I went away because there's a load of calico bristle nose in here, but... Uh, they come in on a tree. They're lovely. The parents of these are lovely, so I imagine that these will be nice. But like I said, there's eight of them in there. I am growing some more of my pothos on, and I can see it's nibbling on that. They're cuttings that I've taken from my actual bigger plant, but I've got bits of pothos growing out of here. Got a bit of it going on. The main piece is in here, so that's... You can see it at the back on the wall. I have put, put took some cuttings from it. This is my albino echolite geophagus Jurapari tank that you all saw. Do you remember the Anubius? I did end up taking it out and I basically zip tied it to rocks. Um, I could glue it, zip tie it, but I chose to zip tie it because at the time I didn't have any glue. Um, and then I bought some of this, the couple of these Amazon swords just to make it a little bit more balanced. I did have some of my Elodia Densim in there, but it didn't last five minutes. So you have to watch these Albino Akali because they will they will munch on it. They did munch the Elodia Densa. They've not touched this yet. So hopefully that will be fine. Stunning that tank, in it? I do love this tank. It's amazing. And I'm sorry about all the glare in the video, but it was just a case of me showing you what it's like when i return from my holidays but on this occasion it's all gone well this is the centrals the south americans down there 
Parrot Cichlids, true Parrot Cichlids look. And the Pearl Cichlids. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that everything is alive. Got me silver dollars in there because I am going to be selling those silver dollars. But everything is alive. I will give you a little hint out there. There is something in there, video coming soon about what I've done with that tank. But anyway, we are going to wrap this one up. Quick walk around of the fish room and the fish tanks in the house. Just basically me returning from my holiday really chuffed because, like I said, my friend was only here two nights, you know, in the week. There was no lights on most of the tank. So basically he looked and he checked and, you know, it just shows you, doesn't it? He only fed the fish once as well, just once. And they are all absolutely fine. Don't get me wrong, I've had the lights on and I have fed them a load of frozen brine shrimp with garlic and they've absolutely smashed it in. But I can take an algae issue. With those lights, it just shows you that that extra two hours makes such a difference. I can, I can sort that out. No dead fish is an absolute plush because a lot of people, when they go away, it seems to happen to them. So touch wood, it hasn't happened to me. So hopefully that's, that's a good sign. But anyway, guys. I just want to say a massive thank you as always. I appreciate your support. That tank that I pointed out, there is, I have moved something. I haven't got something new. I've just put a species only tank together. And that probably gives you a clue as to what it is. But that will be coming in the next video. Again, thank you very much for your support. And I will see you all on the next one.